Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready, Eddie? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's rolling. I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? GPA here. <laughs> I'm here with my fam. You know, my Uncle Ray. Mm -hmm. I got my youngin on the camera. You know who I am. League of Extraordinary Poets tomorrow, August 9th, 3 p.m. Sonoma Cav, a.k.a. Planet Poetry, 2847 West 95th Street. You know, the rise of L-O-E-P. Mm -hmm. Um... I was just thinking of something while I was sitting here. This is what I'm drinking. Rum and Coke. You know, I'm just, I'm on some, I'm getting my nerves out. You know, I get real nervous the day before. Because y'all, anybody see me the day of, I get down. You know. So I was thinking of this little ditty. Um, I got inspired by this song that um, Nakia, my buddy Nakia at Literary Divas Book Club told me about. It's called Killer Lipstick. So it's just a little song. I'm going to give you a few bars, and I'm going to finish drinking. I just want to give you a little shout-out. Come, come on out tomorrow. Anybody in Chicago, Indiana, surrounding areas, any, any part you want to travel out, man, check out our show, okay? Here we go. This is Killer Lipstick, all right? <clears throat> when she pressed her gloss up against me, I thought the whole thing was mystic. I seemed to find out that I was mesmerized by her Killer Lipstick. And she said she didn't wear lipstick. It was just only the lip gloss, but seemingly I was enamored, enslaved, energized by her lip gloss. Her killer lipstick left on me, which means her imprint was left on me. I have no choice but to try to get it again because I wanted her killer lipstick on me, on me. Yet again, the next time, my dear friend, I will not let your kiss be so quick. But next time, I will make long the interlude intimate, the exchange of my lips to your killer lipstick. Mm. Greatest Poet Alive, League of Extraordinary Poets, I Blow Your Mind.com, The Confessional Heart of a Man, I'm next. Mm -hmm.